Hey, how's it going? It's Cody here, and I'm going to show you what's in my bag. Um, I just got this bag literally today. It's the MVP Voyager Light Bag. It's a great bag, especially for the price tag. I only got this for about $80 on Amazon, and it's a really good bag. So I'm going to take you through everything that's in here. Starting off with the putters, I put with Electron Soft Nomads. And I wiped the stamp off of these because I'm just kind of like Simon now. I don't really like the look at stamps whenever I'm putting, but these feel great. Very straight. They used to be a little bit more overstable, but I've had these for roughly like six months now. And they're definitely beaten into straight now, but still really good discs. Just open up here. Uh, some other putters I got. Actually, I got the Glitch. Um... This disc is so much fun. The seven glide, just the dead straight, you know, such a fun disc, especially in this neutron soft plastic. It feels really good. And I love throwing this thing around, but whenever it gets windy, this is not a good disc to throw. I bag two Envies. I have the Cosmic Electron Soft Plastic in the Envy. It's a little bit more firmer than the than my Nomads are, even though they're both Electron Soft. I guess it's the Cosmic Plastic. This one's pretty straight for me now. Like I throw it flat, it'll just kind of hold there, and maybe right at the end, it'll give me a little bit of a left finish. Um, great disc, also feels really good in my hands. And of course, I have another Envy, Cosmic Neutron Plastic. This is a little bit more overstable. I throw it flat, it'll hold it for a little bit, but it'll definitely dump a lot more than the other Envy does. Again, Envy is one of my favorite molds, and it's really fun. Really fun to throw. My last putter in my bag is an Entropy. I don't really throw this too often, but sometimes I need that little forehand shot shape, and this is what it fills it for. Um, neutron plastic feels really good in the hands as well as the same thing with like every MVP disc that I've felt so far feels really good in the hands. But yeah. That's all my putters. On to my mid-ranges. I have the Lozado Hex. This thing is probably my favorite disc in the bag right now. I can throw this flat, let it flip just a little bit, come out, and feels really good. This Eclipse Plastic is also incredibly glowy. Whenever you put this into the sunlight for like 10 minutes and throw it into the back of the car, it still lights up for a good like hour. Maybe even longer, I don't know, I haven't tested it yet. But this thing blows and this thing flies really nicely. Always recommend a hex to anyone. Alright, my first disc that is not MVP that's in the bag is a Mako 3, a Star Mako 3. Um, this disc is crazy. <laughs> this disc is crazy, like it's very angle sensitive. Like, I have this disc in the bag mainly for Anheuser shots where I'm going to put this on like maybe like 10 degrees of Anheuser and let it just go left to right and never is going to come back. Um, this disc is really fun. Sometimes I do throw it flat and it will just stay flat while the hex will come out of it just at the end a little bit. But yeah, this disc I recommend to every beginner because it's very straight and it will very much improve your form and you'll see flaws in it using this disc. Next disc I got is the Fission Reactor. This disc, along with the Hex, is very similar in flight. This disc is just a little bit more overstable though, and it's noticeable enough to where I throw both of them differently. Um, this disc is just so much fun. It feels great in the hands as well. I have very small hands, so the shallowness of MVP disc as a whole feels really good in the hands. And the fission is also really good. And this thing goes super far. For me, if I give this like a full send power on like flat, it would go like roughly maybe 275-ish feet. Uh, my max distance is only roughly around 350 right now, but great disc. Two more mid-ranges I have in the bag. I have an X-Out Method in Neoplastic. I got this out of the Dismania Mystery Box, and you'll see a few of them later in the bag. This disc is just nice and overstable, 5503, throw it flat. Definitely hides it out real quick, but it's very fun to throw, very reliable in the wind as well. This disc is 
a lot of fun too. I just love throwing this disc like on Anheuser's and laying it flex out. I'm, I really like throwing Anheuser's. It's not really my go-to shot, but it's one of my favorites that's watched this go left to right when it's supposed to go right to left. Also good forehand disc. I will forehand this disc if I need to. Last mid-range is a Mutant. I don't really throw this disc too often. This guy I'm just here for like fun. It's probably not going to stay in the bag too long, but I just got this recently and it's a lot of fun. I don't really know what plastic this is to be honest, but it's really overstable, like really, really overstable. I don't know what the flight number is on these yet, but like if I throw this with like 45 degrees of Anheuser like this, it will come out of it immediately. Wind doesn't do anything for this disc either, and this disc is just a lot of fun to throw, mess around with. Moving on to my slower fairway drivers, I have a Neutron Ascend from Streamline. And this disc is a lot of fun for me because I can put this disc on like maybe like 30 degrees hyzer and it would just flip up, maybe turn a little bit and just kind of land flat. This will also use be used as a short roller disc if I ever need it, but very fun. Flippy indeed. Ne next disc is a relay in neutron plastic. This disc is very straight for me. I can throw this like flat, get a little bit of turn and a little bit of finish. It's like a longer hex for me. And I also really like this disc on Heiser actually. Whenever I pop it up on Heiser, it won't really dump too hard. It will just kind of hold it and then finish left. It'll get a lot of forward moving Heiser out of this, which is really nice. I like this disc a lot. Also feels incredible. Moving on to the Evader in Lucid Plastic. This disc is my overstable seven speed slot. I just hit it flat and it'll dump left. Not really dump necessarily, but definitely have a good finish to the left. Also throw flexes with this and I will forehand this disc if I need to. Um, really good disc. My eight speed is the Ascent, not the Ascent, the Escape. The, uh, what's it called? mixing all these the essence okay that's a lot better <laughs> um the s the essence holy crap in uh whatever plastic this is is like very straight kind of like the relay but a little bit longer um like i throw this on flat just you know turn the anheuser come back really nice um plastic feels incredible again i don't know what this plastic is but it is something else it's a cool little stamp on it as well Moving on to my distance drivers, but my nine speeds from MVP, I have a Proton Tesla, and this disc is sneakily overstable. Looking at the numbers on this, it's nine five negative one two. You would think it would just kind of like flip a little bit, come back pretty hard, but no, this disc acts like a Firebird. In my, I used to bag a Firebird until I lost it, and this disc pretty much does the same thing for me. Which is really good. I can put as much power as I want flat and it will just go left. This is also my go-to forehand disc power. If I need a very far forehand disc for whatever reason, this is the one I choose. My last 9-speed, my last fairway driver, last distance driver 9-speed, <laughs> is the Impulse. The Impulse. This disc is very nice. This disc is probably my go-to bomber right now because I can't really throw distance drivers to their fullest potential. However, this disc is flippy, but it's not that flippy. It's probably more of a 9.5 negative 2 one than it is a negative 3 one for me. This disc is also my go-to roller. If I put it on a decent amount of Anheuser, it'll get to that roller angle really nice and go forever. Um, this disc is also really good for hyzer flips, really good if you want to release it on flat and then let it turn and just never come back. Great disc, underrated. And moving on to the proper distance drivers, we got the Onyx, an ESP plastic, I believe, 10603. This disc is not as overstable as the numbers suggest. I find this disc a little bit more straight. Like I throw it flat, it would just hold flat for a while and finish at the end. Um, I don't really forehand this disc too often, but like if I do, 
in rare instance need like a hyzer flip forehand disc this is what i would choose but usually i don't really throw that but this is like my go-to like a little bit of turn decent amount of finish at the end disc we have four more discs actually no we have five more discs left i have the neutron zenith this thing is really fun this disc is just a lot of my discs are pretty much just hammered them flat they'll just stay flat and finish at the end and i don't forehand this disc at all this is a backhand dominant disc for me because i have another disc will be the next one i'll show you it's a little bit more stable than this and it just works a little bit better with forehand but this disc is great i love the zenith a lot this is probably like one of my favorite distance drivers i've ever thrown it's just a lot of fun honestly and it's like great addition to the mvp lineup and now i have the cosmic neutron photon this disc is beefy this disc is actually supposed to be flippier than the zenith but like the zenith was designed to be more overstable than the photon but because this is in cosmic neutron plastic it actually is just a little bit more stable than the zenith so this is my go-to forehand i don't really backhand this disc too much but maybe in some instances where it's like really windy, a lot of headwind, I might backhand it if I need that shot. But mainly this is my forehand disc of choice, just in general. Very fun to throw. I love the, I love the feel of the photon and great disc, recommend it to everyone. All right, next disc, we're going on to our 12 speed distance drivers, which is the max I put myself at because I can't even really throw these to the full, fullest potential but I'm trying my best. <laughs> this is the Astronaut from Discmania. I believe the numbers are like 12, six, I think the four, one. This is my go-to roller disc if I need it, or if I need like a hyzer to auto it and hyzer never come back, I'll use this disc. This disc is really fun to throw and very beginner friendly. I like it a lot. All right, next distance driver, I have a DD3. This is, primarily like an experiment disc because this disc kind of flies pretty similar to zenith um i don't find too many differences but it is a little bit wider so i don't know if this will stay in the bag but i really like the sea line plastic from this mania i just in general i like see-through plastic i like proton from mvp and yeah this disc feels great very much a lot of dome which i'm not used to so it feels a little bit different a little bit weirder in my hands but it's not bad by any means uh, very fun disc to throw. We'll see if it makes the bag. And the last disc I have is definitely the most random. <laughs> definitely the most random disc. I have a uh, a Viking. Vikings disc Valhalla. Uh, probably no one here has ever heard of this disc. It's a 12502. And this disc is so good. <laughs> this disc is so fun. Um, it's very dirty right now currently. But this disc I use for like... I want to hammer it flat and it will just kind of stay flat this this got views for a little while so it's kind of just like it won't really turn on me but it won't really finish too hard and for some reason this is also holds up really well on the forehand it's very torque resistant even though it's not that overstable so again it's another disc that i'm not too sure if it's gonna really stay in my bag too long but it's really fun and this armor plastic i should mention and i should mention with every single disc i have they're pretty much in the range of like 167 to max weight, except for the glitch. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this in the bag and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.